Hello, welcome back to PlayStation Access. My name is Nathan and I'm here with Dave. Hello. Dave, you and I yes. have been playing Ghost Recon, uh, Wildlands, closed beta at the yeah, weekend. we did, yeah. And here are seven things you must do yes. when you get to play Ghost Recon Wildlands. And one of them, obviously, this isn't the, the official first one, but it's just pose some nice shots against the sun. Yeah. Which is what I did. Look, that looks like the cover of a book. I mean, you can do this especially well in Ghost Recon uh, Wildlands because the the world is so vast but Dave we're on to number one which is uh, play co-op so this is um, I mean we, I put this first because every entry is co-op yeah um, <laughs> so I thought I'd get it out of the way we played together we did yeah and you can play with up to four people in the same world and really everything about this game only really makes sense when you do this so this is how uh, this, that this whole first entry is basically take, you were just tilling, I'm the, tilling land. the earth yeah um, and this is just how, you know, you meet up. This, what I'm saying here is, the first thing you need to do is find where your pals are on the map and then go and pick them up, often in a helicopter. Yes, is, a helicopter's the best, uh, although other vehicles do apply. And there's something weirdly cool about this, Nathan, isn't it? It was, it was really fun for me to just be somewhere in the map and um, for you to say, I'm coming to get you. In a and heli I can see you slowly moving towards me. This is like an action movie. And then you, it, you could be like MacGyver. You're, you're in the, on a bike. Yeah. And does MacGyver have a bike? He could. Uh, and I've got a helicopter again because uh, I basically spent all my time in the beta just stealing helicopters and then flying them towards Dave. Yes, exactly. I, I mean, that is one of the valid things to do. And I think, you know, there's probably loads of cool... So you can try and plan cool and exciting stunts. Like, why didn't we ju jump the bike over the helicopter? Or try and get it through it in the now doors. Now that I see this, I don't I'm know. Like, I can't believe we didn't make Maybe this Maybe it's because the helicopters are actually surprisingly hard to pilot. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and we couldn't <laughs> do true. very basic things with them. But seriously, I don't know what it is, but I really enjoyed driving my bike onto a road and waiting for you to pop down in the helicopter it just felt really cool i really enjoyed editing these bits together just with like the different perspectives imagine if there was four of us right anyway enough of that number two um this game is very much about recon and what, ghost recon and planning right i you know i genuinely <laughs> didn't even think about that which is amazing uh my new favorite thing is the drone you have yeah. a, a portable drone which you can upgrade as well you can give it night vision thermal vision you can make it explode in its basic mode though Think of Far Cry, uh, basically, another Ubisoft game, and think of how fun it is to go up to bases and tag everyone and plan yeah. your infiltration. And then imagine doing that with a team of up to four people. Exactly, who all have binoculars that can move them, you know, fly around the world near silently yeah. for, a, for a short period of time and tag things for you. I mean, we have, and we've done a tiny bit of filming with a real drone, yeah. so I'm, you know, I'm, an, I'm an expert. Yeah, you're a you dab know. hand. And, uh, I mean, you're okay too. This is Dave's um, point of view. And you can see we're approaching... Oh, I just love this kind of stuff. We're approaching this uh, base, this enemy base, from two different perspectives, and we're tagging different people, and the um, the enemies that the other person is tagging is obviously, like, popping up. Look, yeah. So, like, some of these Dave is getting and some of them I'm getting. Um, so, yeah, just just planning is n num number two. I don't know if I mentioned it. Is, yeah, it's, re it's just recon and plan. And, like, you know, just approaching this from do different angles like this, just the feeling of teamwork is so satisfying. Yeah. The, the thought of, like, just, I mean, it's just a simple thing, like, you go to the left, I'll go to the right, and we'll <laughs> that, just look at the middle and see what we can see. We that's really sophisticated but as then, it was, but it was so satisfying. But then there is also this... Um, you know, like, just chatting about, like, you, you find yourself having what are probably quite unsophisticated, but, you know, tactical conversations of just like, yeah. hey, there's a sniper up there, we need to be careful of that guy. Uh, coordinating about which members of the enemy kind of squad you can take out without, without the others being alerted. And yeah. The routes that you should take through. Um, I think I put this on just to show you how, uh, I'm, it's quite tricky to get it in, but just how mobile the drones are they can be spotted by enemies but you can fly them you know if you wanted to check out whether you can go inside somewhere like for cover on the route up and stuff like that they're super maneuverable yeah and even if you're not worried about getting spotted you know you just pop in your drone in and get a recce on what's going on or whatever exactly and this is so this is i've, I've actually done three kind of uh recon missions that we did although just these, these are our opening approaches so you flew a helicopter I did. Um, I dropped out of the helicopter. Here I am landing, sticking the drone up because, man, I love that drone. I mean, I really like flying in open world games anyway. Yeah. I love being able to kind of look across the map. It's one of my favorite, favorite things to do in GTA 5. It's basically the only thing I do in GTA 5. Um, so, like, the drone for me, like, I'm going to upgrade the... Um, the uh, what's the the range? And yeah, I'm going to upgrade the batteries. Uh, this mission is basically that's the guy that we need to we need to pump him for some information. Yes, we so, do. So I was so straight well away, said. straight away we uh, we clock that guy, and then it's just kind of a matter of uh, tagging everyone else, 
um, and making sure that our route to the objective is is as clear as possible and we can we can kind of see all the dangers so like i said it is i mean it's, it felt to me the whole game like a cross between just cause and, and far cry and meanwhile here i am parking up the helicopter very carefully on a, on a high point over the top it's I amazing mean, they didn't see you i know i'm just saying this again and again but it just felt so cool i felt really cool Dropping you off, like, no, jump out with the parachute, I'll park up the chopper, you yeah. can start the recce, I'll have a, you know, a bead on it from the top. I was, like, trying to cover you, make sure no one was sneaking up on you and stuff, and it just... Um, well, imagine if we had, like, another couple of guys who were just waiting to, to roll in at a certain exactly. point. Exactly. You know, get a, another, a different kind of, you know, someone else on the map, and that is the thing, you know, the whole map is available. You could have two other friends at a different part of town, picking up a vehicle, driving over, exactly. you know, say, we'll be there in five minutes. You can have extraction idea A and B. Yeah. Exactly, um, backup plans. So this is the third one. This is the probably the most uh, well-fortified base that we approached. Yes. Um, so again, the subtle approach of simply flying a helicopter straight over the top. <laughs> yeah. Uh, and, then, uh, and then again, we just kind of came at it from, from different sides. So I kind of, I don't know which way is east and west, otherwise I'd say it. But um, I kind of popped my drone up from this side. And you're on the completely other side of the, uh, of the base. Yeah, I think you're coming from the north there, actually. You know, so. Thanks, man. And you can see these uh, have got different coloured these these soldiers these uh, in this encampment because they are from a different faction. This is Unidad, so there's actually um, well. And the other thing to, to note is that some other little symbols are popping up. So you might have seen there. Um, let's see if it's appeared on your screen yet. I'm not sure it has because these aren't quite in sync um, because we were both doing kind of interesting things at the same time. But there's uh, yeah, you can see it. Look, that little uh, power symbol. Power symbol and. So it kind of shows you there's gates as well on here, and the gates open. I think you're just about to find the main objective, which is why I pop. Yeah, there he is. So then we kind of knew exactly what we had to do. And actually, this brings us on to point three. I just wanted to, because I wanted to carry through this particular mission. Um, so if number two was uh, to recon a plan, which is a big part of the game, yeah. number three is to execute as a team. Yes, definitely. And I re this is probably the time that we did it where it went least wrong. Yeah. <laughs> There's a lot that can go wrong. You've been very honest there. Um, well, it's just because the main thrust of the mission normally goes quite... But then, you know, it's to get in and out completely uh, without attracting any attention or uh, being shot at at all, completely smoothly, is quite difficult. So you were taking out the guards from the tower. I think I took one out. Uh, this is a great shot. I love the dip on the... I know, it's fantastic, isn't it? Quite a long... Yeah, from quite a long way. So I, so basically, to kind of follow on, you had found the guy that we needed to interrogate. Um, so we knew where he was in the base at that point. And then we both moved in. You took out the guards. And then he, because there was a small... Uh, I basically shot someone. So they, <laughs> so they know that we're kind of around. And he's in this room. So I got myself in position. Uh, and then you entered the base. And our plan was... We'd never done anything like this before. But um, our plan was for you to head to the... Uh, power center yeah. uh, to shut off the lights and I didn't really know if it would make a difference but I just thought it would be cool if um, yeah we you see an opportunity like that you're going to take it so you we know, turn we off the power and we synchronized there's the light going off and that's when I jumped in and uh I oh man, that's so cool! Because like, obviously I haven't seen it from your point of view, and the power going out because I've turned off the power, and then you like <laughs> jump on that guy. Yeah, man, and that is really, really wicked. It was that's really great. good fun. So that was yeah, executing as a team. Um, now we're new to uh, number four. This is the same base, and uh, I am half sorry that we're not showing you a different area of the map. <laughs> but at the same time, again, this is really specific, and this is you can sometimes just make your own little objectives. Yeah, and this because it's an open world, so there's obviously the missions you can do. But here we found ourselves. Uh, in the same area of the map and we wanted a helicopter yes so this is us stealing a helicopter so this is basically me with uh, kind of surveillance drone support uh, and you going in on uh, on foot and uh, making your way through the compound during daylight hours um, and look there's the there's the chopper that we're trying to steal this was like an episode of bugs yeah this was so <laughs> good this was genuinely some of the most fun I had I think like you just taking on your role with the drone and being my literally my eye in the sky. sky and and I was like what about that guy he's not looking and don't you, worry you can you go can, so look then I was finding enough. guys that you wouldn't have been able to see and if you'd gone into the hangar they would have spotted you but also just telling you stuff like I'm too far away from this guy to see if he's looking at me can I move across this walkway etc yeah oh man it was really good so i mean i think um to the naked eye it doesn't look loads different to the previous mission that we did no um but just in terms of fun like you said this was the reason we put this in is because just making this up and just doing it and seeing if we could and kind of testing the boundaries of the world was the most fun that we had and it's just sort of the the thrill i guess of problem solve you know the problem was we need to get across the map 
we need a helicopter. We don't have any. You know, we're we're right near to this base, which has got a helicopter. Why don't we just steal it? Well, yeah, well just because it's heavily it. fortified. But we'll just be really yeah, we're ghost, ghost recon we're, about we'll it. We'll recon it, which is just and it was you know pulling it off. I remember getting in this helicopter and like obviously at that point everyone knew and you were just like go 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 and I was, get to the get to the road get to the chopper. it was really really satisfying to to pull that off and obviously. That was just stealing a helicopter, um, which had no bearing on you know, I know on, exactly. on missions or game the game or anything. It was just something we wanted to do. Look at um, that. look, and I love it when the kind of when the uh, just the two different perspectives come together. Yeah, it's really definitely. nice. Look at all the enemies that have seen us. I know. And like getting away. I remember the chopper was like steaming wasn't it? or smoking <laughs> or something. There ah, we go. There it is. Not looking good, but we made it. So that's the main thing. And there you go. Three kilometers away. We would we'd still be on foot otherwise. And uh, and talking about stealing, Dave. As I said, my favourite thing to do in any game really is uh, steal a plane. So here we right. are. This is us stealing a plane and just flying it around. And this is to give you kind of a, some overview, some footage of us flying around. Um, so you can kind of see the size of the map and we only had the beta only had a very small proportion of the map available It was very small so you go out of bounds quite quickly But just to give you a kind of uh, an aerial view of what it looks like It's just a few I don't know what was it maybe five kilometers squared that we were playing with yeah Maybe that sound that doesn't sound uh, too unlikely I, I had a real um, kind of Indiana Jones moment flying the plane for the when I first one of the uh, you basically <laughs> can steal this plane oh. to steal sort of supplies that you can you can use um, and obviously I took off in the plane and thought oh great you know I've stolen the supplies fantastic and then realized that I would have to land the plane I know yeah uh, which actually, is hey, look, this is simple. this is my go I was trying to fly it over your head <laughs> yeah <laughs> I remember saying can you pick me up as you no, you know, run me over with a wing. Well, also, we, we thought it would be like it would be a cool shot if I took off just over your head. <laughs> yeah, you sure. were trying to line I don't it up. remember you saying this will be a cool shot. I just remember you sort of giggling as you <laughs> hit the throttle. But um, I looked over at your screen and I saw that you'd completely collapsed. Yeah. <laughs> well, that does bring us to um, number six, which is just have things go wrong. Yeah. <laughs> this is a follow up to the shot earlier on where I had found you on the map, took ages. And a car just rammed up. What is that? I love that? that. You were looking at the map. I was like, Nath, our helicopter's <laughs> been destroyed. And if you, when you watch it, they really sort of turn into the helicopter. My favourite thing is this NPC who's walking past. So it's like, ooh. Oh, mate. Whoops. Oh, mate. Oh, man. Where yeah. there's blame, there's a claim. Your helicopter's all messed up. And then uh, here oh, we, were, we were trying to be super cool. We were trying to take down a... a what would you... A call? convoy. Yeah, a convoy. And you were... This is you... I'm jumping out. And, and you were like, no, I'll parachute out and put some mines down on the road. Yeah. <laughs> and you've got, because you're in a gunship. A gunship. I thought, oh, this is going to yeah. be really, really cool. I'll just drop down. I mean, I don't really know what my plan was. It didn't help that they were, we were right over this base. I was like, oh, that's not so good. Oh, that's but so you've been spotted a thousand times. I really times. thought this was going to be gamey and the, and the truck was going to stop. <laughs> it just didn't stop. Nobody stopped. Nobody cared. Not even the third car Your stopped absolute there. absolute roadkill. Which I did enjoy because I just thought, you know, hey, games, cars and games, stop. And this is to follow up earlier on after we would carefully reconned this base. Yeah. So you can see Information Man yes. there who has clearly not done his uh, Green Cross coding. Because he, look at my, this from my drone shot. We were like, we've got the, we've got the asset. We're moving there into he position. He just gets <laughs> run over as well. The drivers in this place are absolutely nuts. Maybe they got words that we were going to interrogate him. And, and they so were like, take, take him, him out, take, take him out, take out our own guy. So that was quite disappointing. Although I think we did get another helicopter out of that mission. And that leads us on to number seven, Dave, which is simply punish the animals. Yes, they must be punished. Because <laughs> we had a small conversation after we were playing for a couple of hours just about like, you know, what should we put in the video? Did you kill any animals? <laughs> I was like, yeah, I, I, every cow and sheep I saw, I shot in the head. This is me trying to uh, herd cows towards C4. So I hadn't used <laughs> C4 yet. And I was trying to herd them. It turns out they're as difficult to herd as real cows. You should, dr you should drive around them in like smaller and smaller circles. I got fed up at this point. I was like, right, just have two bits of seat. I'm just like, well, I'm just blowing it up because I want to see the explosion. But if you look at the cow on the left, he goes to sleep. <laughs> he goes to sleep. He sounds like he's been rocked to sleep by the vibrations. I think, I think he possibly has look and at you. Uh, this Tough was man. me just driving along I suddenly remember, llamas again, llamas everywhere the weird, well this is exactly what you said because we were trying to get to a point and we were both had motorcycles and, and you went the wrong way and you just said I said where are you Dave and you just said llamas <laughs> it's just I've llamas. never seen well obviously I've never seen so many llamas but uh, you know even, even in the game this was the only time I ever came across like a herd of llamas it's like an army they're just everywhere running around and it was quite nice to see them really because it really put me uh, in South America 
but and then I was kind of having kind of quite a lot of fun with them. I don't know if I'm terrorising them here or if we're running as one. Alarm. You know, they've accepted me into their herd. You have to accept my pun. The Lamy. The like, Lama. Oh, right, yeah. That's, that's very good. And on that note, yes, on the God. Lama note, um, that is the end of our look at just seven things you must do in uh, Ghost Recon Wildlands, which really we just wanted to kind of show you what the world there that they've made is capable of and the kind of things you'll be getting up to. Basically, lots of tagging people and lots of uh, tactical espionage, as, yeah. you, as you'd expect. Um, so thank you for watching that. Do uh, give us a like if you enjoyed this video. Comment below. Let us know if you played the closed beta uh, and what you got up to. And do stay tuned to PlayStation Access. We've got loads more coming up.